Hello and welcome back. This is Lake Tahoe Television News. El Dorado County sheriffs arrested a man last Friday after he attempted to run away from officers as they approached a marijuana grow on Forest Service land. 21-year-old Omar Ruiz Talawera, a self-described transient from Mexico, was wearing camo when he was apprehended and a handgun was found nearby in a makeshift camp. Deputies say that extensive damage to the forest had been done in creating the grow. Thousands of square feet of trees had been cut down and the tree stumps had been painted green. Fertilizers and trash were scattered around the grow site, which was right above the Rubicon River. Talawero was booked into county jail on charges of cultivation, drug possession, and resisting an officer. The city of South Lake Tahoe has appointed a new city attorney. Tom Watson started as a specialist in construction litigation, then went on to serve Tulare County. He was appointed judge pro tem of the Office of Administrative Services with the state of California. Watson has also served as the city attorney for both Mendota and Woodlake. Tom Watson will take over from interim city attorney Nira Feely and start his new job on July 8th. If you see smoke around South Lake Tahoe this week, it's because the Forest Service is conducting controlled burns in the Cold Creek area. They'll be burning around 10 acres and the operation will last through Thursday. Some wet weather this week, though, may postpone the burns for a couple of days, but the wet weather is definitely welcome as the forest lands are already parched. Fire danger will be higher next week as warm weather returns. The Forest Service will also begin its restoration project this week on the Upper Truckee River in South Lake Tahoe. This is a pretty big project and it will replace the existing stream channel with a new channel that is more stable and which is connected to the existing floodplain. The aim is to provide better aquatic habitats and a healthier meadow ecosystem, but also to help reduce the amount of sediments that make it downstream into Lake Tahoe. A temporary bridge will be installed about a mile downstream from the Elks Lodge at the Highway 50 crossing near where the airport runway is, which means that rafters and kayakers floating the upper Truckee River will have to portage around that new bridge. Construction and boundary fencing will also be going up. The project will take about four years to complete, after which there will exist about 7,400 feet of new river channel. And in Truckee, the Trout Creek Restoration Project will be the topic of the town council and a tour will be given to the public at the proposed restoration site. The tour will begin at Trout Creek Road near the small parking area there. That's on Friday, July 12th at 4 p.m. The public will get a first-hand look at the restoration site. Trout Creek runs right through downtown Truckee and flows underneath Interstate 80 and Donner Pass Road. It is now largely confined to a concrete channel. The plan would restore the natural look and function of the creek and provide better flood protection. The Tahoe City Parks and Recreation Department is announcing its summer schedule of sports camps. No excuses for kids this summer as there is a full slate of activities planned throughout the summer months. Among the programs are soccer training camps, volleyball camps, basketball, paddleboarding, swimming, and a whole lot more. A full catalog of programs lays out all the sports, fitness, and entertainment options available to kids and to adults. The catalog is available at the Recreation District office on Timberland Lane, that's between Tahoe City and Homewood, or online at this website address. That's it for now from the Lake Tahoe Television News Studio. I'm Robert T. Scott.